chips with lime seasoning on top, a side of sour cream, we have a side of fresh pico de gallo, homemade pico de gallo, a fresh bottle of Tabasco Chipotle or Chipotle Tabasco, however you want to say it. And we have some mango peach flavored water. Who is ready for this motherfucking mukbang? It's about to be going down. What's up, Yummy Vice? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Vice TV. Y'all already see it. I am drinking, I think this is mango peach flavored water. Ah, uh -huh. yes, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Happy Taco Tuesday, y'all. I know y'all excited like me. <laughs> y'all, let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping muck bang? All right, homemade enchiladas. Oh, look at that. Mm. Yeah, I know I gotta have some chips. Oh, look at that. Oh, girl. Y'all already know I gotta put some sour cream on that bag. If I can get it off the spoon. And some Chipotle Tabasco. Give me. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Who loves enchiladas, girl? That's how I cream cool it on down. <laughs> These enchiladas are... Wow. I'm glad I did it like this too, y'all, because I was going to do these another way. Mmm. I was going to do like a casserole. Mm -mm. I'm glad I didn't. Mm. 
Happy mother flipping taco Tuesday, y'all. Y'all, this is so good. Mmm. I put two different kinds of smoked um, cheese in here. Girl, can you just imagine what this tastes like? Mmm. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's hot. It, these um, enchiladas are spicy, and so is this um, pico. My pico, pico the guy, yo. Mmm. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. So what did y'all cook for Taco Tuesday? Is it better than mine? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> mm. Thought I let this cool off, girl. I did not. Mmm. 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 Goodness. And guess who was gonna eat tacos tonight? <laughs> I was like, nah, let me let me do something different. Come here, drink. tired of people talking about Caitlyn um what is her last name girl anyway Caitlyn uh versus freaking um Angel Reese or Caitlyn Clark whatever 
Aren't y'all so tired? I swear, people are making this a racial thing. Like, it is serious, y'all. Y'all should see some of the comments that I see. When people make a video about um, the WNBA, it is out of control. Um, um, uh, what is her name? Y'all, I, I keep forgetting that they're going to be names. Um... Anyway, apparently, people are thinking that everybody is so jealous of Caitlyn Clark. Like, what? People are asking for them to make it easier for her. To make it easier. Not that this is a, uh, not that uh, basketball is a literal competition. Like, it is a very competitive sport. Like, nobody's going to be easy on you. Like, <laughs> Caitlyn keep falling and stuff. People pushing her and she falling it. Like, girl, she's falling so many times. It's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I'm like, girl, kind of like stand the ground or something. You know? I heard that that's what they do to rookies. Like, it ain't nothing new. But the narrative is black women are jealous of Caitlin Clark. Mm hmm. That's what they're saying. That's what they're insinuating, and that's what they're saying. I just feel like they may be a little upset because <clears throat> where was all this attention before? You know what I'm saying? There was definitely people that were way better than Caitlin Clark before, and they never got any type of shine, no nothing. And y'all let me know in the comments, why do y'all think that um, the WNBA is getting all of this attention? Because I believe... That it started when, um, of course, Caitlin Clark came on. And, um, why? I always want to call this girl Alyssa. That is not her name. Um, oh my gosh. Why do I do that? I'm trying to remember her name, y'all. Angel Reese. Angel Reese, y'all. Uh, you know, ever since them two you know, came into um, the WNBA, that's when it got popular. I don't think it was just solely because of Caitlin Clark because, um, oh, excuse me. Oh, y'all. Mmm. Angel Reese had a big following too. Just like Caitlyn. And a lot of people are going to the games because of her also. So, you know, the girls of the WNBA may be a little upset. You know, but can you freaking blame them? Like, why weren't they getting all of this attention before? They're, they were the ones who paved the way for these young ladies to even do um, <clears throat> women's basketball. They are the ones who paved the way, so they need some respect. You know, and nobody's going to kiss Caitlin Clark's feet. Nobody's going to do that. And people are expecting these young ladies to do that. And I'm just like, y'all need to calm down, for real. Mm. Like you can be grateful for somebody and not have to kiss their behind to show it. This still is a competitive game. They're looking at her as a rookie. You know, like... Rookies always get treated the worst if you just think about it, okay? Um, 
when you're a freshman in high school, you get bullied a lot. You know, you're just coming into high school. They call you a fresh fish. That's what they used to call it back in the day when, <laughs> when I was going to school. They would call you a fresh fish. What did they call it for y'all if y'all didn't grow up when I grew up? Um, what else? Even in college, freshmen, you're fresh. You know, people try to take advantage of you. Like whenever you're fresh into something, somebody's going to try to take advantage of you. You might get treated bad, but you got to be expecting it. Because I was expecting it when I went into high school. I was expecting to be made fun of because that's what happens when you uh, enter in the ninth grade. You get made fun of. Um, you know, I guess it depends on what school you go to. But it's definitely a thing. Um, people are saying that um, folks are not getting called on fouls and stuff that they make against Caitlin, and their their her team is complaining to the WNBA, sending them footage and stuff, and um, you know, so they can do something about all these women being so aggressive towards her. Like, they're not supposed to be aggressive. I mean, I know they're not supposed to take cheap shots. Like, um, what was her name? What's her name? Kennedy or Ch Chastity or something. Y'all know the one who came up to her and pushed her. But little did everybody know that was judging her on what she did. Um, I wish she kind of would have done it when Caitlyn had elbowed her. Because Caitlyn had elbowed her and she was probably salty because um, Caitlyn um, didn't get called on that foul. Like she elbowed the girl in the face. It's on video, you know. Because <clears throat> everybody's wondering why did she go up to her and push her like that. That's what happened. Mm. And I'm glad somebody found that. Because... It looked really bad. And this kind of still did look bad. You know what I'm saying? What she did. It wasn't right. And everybody knows it wasn't right. But she was getting her back. That's what she was doing. She was getting her back. Um, and she did what she felt like she needed to do at the time. Mm, it was wrong. You know? But she did, they did call the foul, and Caitlyn did get to shoot. Mm. So. Mm. No. I honestly did not have a good day today. <laughs> Girl, I'm looking for the um the male person to come all day, y'all. Ever since 8:30 this morning, and I could have swore they never they never came. I was checking um outside to see if they were there. So many times throughout the day, I literally went to the mailbox several times. Nothing. Those same keys are in there that don't work on any of them. Y'all, so tomorrow, I got to get up early. Well, I'm, I already get up early, but I have to go to the post office tomorrow and see what's going on because it's ridiculous. And I heard that they deliver mail between the, the hours of 8 and 5. So what if they came like earlier that morning and I had just missed them? I don't know. I feel like when I've seen the male person, like I always see them in the afternoon, like closer to three. So I just don't know. Ever since I've been looking for him though, I never see him at that time. Never. It's so annoying.
Let's bait the jump start. Girl, somebody came over here and took my napkins. The whole row. Yeah, I need napkins. <laughs> I can't share it without, but look at my dress though, y'all. Isn't this so cute? It's like an A-line jean dress I got from Target. I am literally in love with it. Mm. Anyway, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Y'all tell me what y'all did. Let me know in the comments, did y'all do anything fun? Oh, y'all should see this cucumber that I have outside, y'all. It's so big. It's like the only one that's like getting really big. Um, So I'm so happy about that. My jalapeno plant. I don't know if I told y'all about this or not, but the people who follow me on my family blog channel, they should know about it. Anyway, <clears throat> my jalapeno plant, y'all, withered up. And come to find out, it had gotten over water, y'all. Y'all know, like, it's been raining a lot out here. And it had, like, this, like, this, like, plate or something that was on the bottom of the, um, the pot that I got from, uh, where did I go to, Lowe's or something? Anyway, it was on the bottom of there. And I noticed, like, when I would move it, like, there would be water coming up out of it. Y'all, come and find out, the water was not freaking draining correctly. So I took that off, and now it's able to drain the water. But, y'all, it looked like it's dying. But the jalapenos are still growing. Is that not strange? And I don't know, honestly, what to do. I don't, you know, I don't know what to do, y'all. Because the leaves are dying, but the jalapenos are still alive and they're still growing. How? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But the leaves are definitely shriveling up. I thought that, like, if I fixed it, well, then, you know, it'll fix the leaves. But, girl, I'm thinking about going to go get another jalapeno plant and another bell pepper plant y'all because i think my bell pepper plant um died also all the leaves fell off y'all it's, it's a sticks in there first there was some leaves that were growing and after this last rain girl those leaves said uh-uh we don't feel like growing them up so i it's kind of disappointing to be honest, I've already picked all of my strawberries now. I'm just waiting for another batch to come. I hope that happens sometime soon. Now, I got a bunch of watermelons growing. Most definitely have a bunch of those. Ooh. Y'all, we're going to do one more bite, girl, because I am full. Mmm, I need sour cream. Delicious. Mmm. 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 These enchiladas were pretty big. There's only three in here, believe it or not. Because the zero carb tortillas that I use 
They're pretty big. But I'm glad I used them though. Mmm. Yeah, my little tummy is full. I had a great day off yesterday. Y'all, I watched um Baddies. Let me know if anybody see it. Girl. Just let me know if you think that who you think won, Natalie or um what is this daggone girl's name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. The one that she had had a squabble with. Tommy. Who y'all think won that? Because I think Natalie won. Straight up. And I don't even know why they were even fighting. Like, it's just, oh my God. Alright, y'all. Mm. <clears throat> Do I want one more bite, y'all? Just to send the plate off. Yeah, yeah, it's almost that time, too. <laughs> it really just is. Um, yeah, your girl is just not all there, you know? Y'all know. My child is leaving. Mm hmm It's official. And I'm really sad about it. I ain't even gonna lie. Mm. Very sad. She is going to be leaving. Um, when is she leaving? In like a month or something like that. Y'all, it's about to happen. Like, this girl has signed up. And... You know, it's gonna happen. Like, and I am literally, I'm, I'm in disbelief, cause I didn't think it was gonna happen. Cause she's, she's, you know, been in this space and then changed her mind, and you know, it's just. I, I literally, I feel sick. Let's keep it all the way funky. I do. But I know that, you know, she has to make these types of decisions on her own and, you know, for her own life because it's her life. Um, <clears throat> I just wish there could have been something else that she could have enjoyed and done. Um, but... Yeah. Mm. I got some good news. The Florida deputy who unalived that senior airman, Roger Fortson, the one where he came to his door and he had his gun like pointed down. Anyway, he was fired. Yeah, because he didn't follow. Um, what did they say? You let me let y'all hear. Who killed senior airman Roger Forsen during a call about a domestic dispute? He's out of here. Terminated. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office finding former deputy Eddie Duran's use of force violated policy. The question mm -hmm. now: Will Duran be charged? Here's ABC's Morgan Norwood. 
He better be charged. Florida Sheriff's deputy who fatally shot a black airman has been fired mm -hmm. after an internal investigation found his use of force was not objectively reasonable. Still, no charges have been filed. It took him two seconds to unalive this man after the door was open, y'all. Two freaking seconds. So, thank God for that. And now we're going to um, wish and pray that um, he gets charged. <clears throat> We're going to hope and pray he gets so charged. Uh, and y'all, I don't have that many uh, topics, honestly. Um, you know, a lot of my day has been consumed with work, y'all. Like, um, answering email. I have so many emails. It is ridiculous, y'all. And I'm literally um looking for a manager y'all i need a manager so bad like more than ever before um <clears throat> because i just need someone who is more experienced than me in like working deals and you know sponsorships and stuff like that because i may be selling myself short you know what i'm saying um so, yeah, I need a manager, y'all. I was doing that today. I was looking out for the uh, <laughs> the male person all day, y'all. Um, working in my guard. I was just doing other stuff, y'all. Like, totally busy today. Ever since, like, 8.30 in the morning. Oh, excuse me. So, and then this Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark thing. Like, that is all I see. On my timeline it is so annoying but I just hate the way people are trying to say that um, everybody is so jealous of her it's just oh that is just so annoying to me and I feel like you know all of this can stop if if possibly Caitlin could possibly say something or is it her uh, job to do that? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but I know that it can, like, I don't know. Because the internet is something else, y'all. And they literally have a mind of their own. But it needs to stop. You know, the WNBA has a lot, of, a lot more eyes on them now. But... It's the kind of eyes that they probably don't want. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're saying that they're, you know, the players are being paid more because of Caitlyn. Are they? Are they being paid more? Well, I heard they don't hardly get any money. Like, you know, their money comes from endorsements. Um, You know, maybe they're getting more endorsements. I wonder if the teams get endorsements as a whole. Of course they do. Of course they do. So, you know, companies want to endorse or sponsor the team and people get, um, like, individual sponsorships also. I really don't know. I'm just guessing, y'all. I'm just guessing. What is this? Y'all. Okay, this is one thing. Why are they planning to go to the Titanic again? A group of uh, really wealthy people are going, listen to this. Americans are making plans to travel to the Titanic wreckage nearly one what year wrong with the people? deadly implosion of Ocean Gate's Titan submersible, which killed all five on board attempting to make the journey nearly 13,000 feet below the surface. Billionaire Larry Connor and Patrick Leahy, the founder of Triton Submarines, mm -hmm. plan to make a new voyage in a $20 million vessel. Connor reached out to Leahy just days after the Titan implosion, telling the Wall Street Journal... I want to show people worldwide that while the ocean is extremely powerful, it can be wonderful and enjoyable and really kind of life-changing. It, it can be wonderful and enjoyable, but yet we don't even know really what's down there. Like, so why would you want to go into the unknown? I don't understand people like that. I really don't. I don't understand people who live around bears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand people who live around tigers and lions, you know, unless you have to do that. But if you choose to, I think it's strange. I really do. 
I think it's strange to jump out of a plane. I think it's strange to uh, climb uh, uh, Mount Everest. Have y'all gotten an update on, on the people who's climbing that daggone mountain? Somebody fell through two like walls of ice in the a thin freaking wall of ice. He, he, you know what I'm saying? His body could, you know, barely got through that mug. And then somebody had to go down there. They had to hoist him down there with a, uh, what you call, I guess, you know, and, um, dig this man out. He fell and he, his, half of his body was in snow, packed snow, y'all. Can you imagine that? Man, I would have thought it was over. And whoever got down there to help him, mm, like, <laughs> that person owes that man his freaking life. For real. He's down there shoveling the snow. Like, I don't know how he gonna get this man up out of there. I really just don't. And him not get buried himself. In this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all. How this man fell in between there like that? Like, I have no freaking clue. No clue at all. Anyway. So, um, yeah, it's just, I don't understand the excitement. Of the unknown you know or not knowing if you're going to live or die like why would you want to put yourself in that type of position i think it's crazy it's crazy thrill seekers are crazy to me crazy because for what what's the point what is the point if you go about it the right way Safety in the industry has been under intense scrutiny, but since the tragedy, Triton and its European competitor have claimed that their subs are safer because they're classed, meaning they're certified as safe and up to code by a third party. This morning, some uber wealthy American girl. Really? Anyway, so good luck to them, honey. God bless. Because girl, couldn't freaking be me. Could not be me. Um. Okay, so y'all, what I'm gonna do is read y'all's comments from the video before. Uh, let's see. When was this? Let's see. This was okay. This was Friday's video. No, Saturday's video. Let's see what everybody's talking about. Mm. Um, Riri Love 62 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or suggestion down below. Young Advice would love to hear what you got to say. Thanks and have a mother flipping great mother flipping day. I haven't said that in so long. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Riri. Um, Riri also says, hey, lovely. Hey, sis. She said, what it do, boo? Hope you're doing well. So I've been um, doing temporary remote work and uh commenting late oh it's okay you ask uh what our jobs are you know i'm retired from aerospace but work part-time in hearings and retired judge really says what uh regarding donating organs i do but am skeptical about so many things these days. Really enjoyed your family vlog and happy you had a great vacay. Hope you're planning big um, for your 50th, girl. I haven't planned nothing yet. Also, glad you took my advice about D3. So you was the one, girl, I owe everything to you, honey. Honestly. Because <laughs> I had no clue about that D3. No clue. Like, that literally saved me, for real. It, even though I was taking it already, but I didn't know that that's what was keeping the um, the hot flashes at bay. Like, I had no clue. Um, 
Now, don't forget to take magnesium too because it's also very essential, okay? Yes, sis. Yes, girl, she said love and hugs. Thank you, girl. And she says keep being great. Thank you. Thank you so much. So magnesium. Girl, I've been knowing that I need to take magnesium for a pretty long. I actually have some magnesium oil that I got from a TikTok shop. So, But I need to be taking the pills though, right? Because, yeah, I have um, oil. I heard that it's good for, like, muscle spasms and cramps and stuff like that. You just rub it, like, on the area. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Do y'all use magnesium oil for anything? Let me know in the comments. Um, Destiny Mills 2279 says, That's the main reason I'm no longer an organ donor. The thought is cute, but they will dead ass do bare minimum to save you. Exactly. To me, honestly, college is a scam. Sometimes you can get a certification and it works just fine. Exactly. Not everybody is saying that you have to have a college degree. Just for certain professions, you know what I'm saying? Where you need to know certain things and you needed to have studied certain things. But, girl... Like, you don't need no college degree to be a manager somewhere or, you know, just a lot of these jobs out here. You do not need a college degree. Like, you could literally just go to a trade school for, what, a year or two or something like that or, you know. But, yeah, I definitely think it's a scam. Um, Deborah Cooper 4184 says, hey, yummy, hey, sis. Uh, Rose Miles 865 says, hey, yummy girl. Hey, girl. That looks delicious. How's your Saturday going? Hope you had a wonderful day. You look beautiful as always. Thank you, Sid. Oh, thank you, girl. Um, How did my, my Saturday go? When did I put this out? No, I put it out on Sunday. Oh, honey, that was my off day, girl. I was doing real good. Real good. I was cramping a little bit, though. I ain't even gonna lie. I was cramping a little bit. Ladies, let me ask y'all something. When it's time for y'all to, to, like, come on it or, um, or, like, right before it comes, do y'all be wanting to wear white? When I tell y'all every single time, I always want to wear white. Or even if I'm on it, like, sometimes I want to wear white. It, it like, and then... Does anybody else go through that? I'm like, dang, Christy, you are on it. You cannot be wearing white. Even though you can if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But user ZP2CO5KF3T says, Dad, act like he's mad at mom because mom didn't give him any of her cookies. So he said, I'll fix her. Oh, is that what happened? I'll uh, make my baby daughter cookies and she can't have any i think he should have made enough cookies for everybody and put hers in the pretty little special little platter just for her and the rest let the family go for it no big deal man people are so simple these days like i know like i don't know i just mm, i didn't i didn't think it was a, a big freaking deal honestly um, Pamela Moore 7139 says, Hey, yummy, the food looks so delicious. Thank you, girl. Uh, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, Looks so good. You look great, also. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Shay Joe 6474 says, My son just got a root canal with no issues. Well, that's good. Plenty of celebrities have veneers, so don't know how bad they are food looks good as usual thank you so much um yeah it's just been uh a lot of people making videos about having problems with their veneers i just saw another video of uh who was what is that girl's name um y'all forgot her name she's kind of famous on um on tiktok um anyway she got all of her her veneers taken off. Period. Thank God they didn't shave her teeth all the way down to where she didn't have any teeth. But yeah, she got them off. But I didn't research to see why she got them off. But she said she felt so good. She fit. She felt better. She said her teeth looked good just the way they are. She didn't really need the um the um 
you know, the teeth. So, yeah, she completely got hers taken off. Um, Kizzy Cherie 7945 says, uh, yes, they pull the teeth out or shave them down real small, and most people's teeth are rotten. That's why they, uh, breath smells. I had a feeling that's what it was. Rotten freaking teeth. That, oh, God. Can you imagine having rotten teeth under them daggone veneers? And you just like that for the rest of your life. I, uh-uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would feel claustrophobic by the mouth. I, mm -mm. Kizzy also says, alligators popping up in Houston too. Girl, I know. <laughs> I know. I know it, girl. In folks' neighborhoods and stuff. Like, are you kidding me? Um... Yeah, this, that's why I'm not going to live around no type of water. Like, I don't want to live around no water. Uh, Nikki Loves Love says, looks delicious. Thank you, Nikki. Um, Patricia Greer, 282 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. The food looks delicious. You look pretty. Yup. You know it's spicy when you get the sniffles and <laughs> clear your throat. My kind of spicy. Yes, girl. I was surprised, though, I was sniffling like that. Um... Uh, Nanette Reynolds 1811 says, it's jealousy. So sad. Yeah, I totally disagree with that. Totally disagree. No, I don't totally disagree because some people may be jealous, but I don't feel like it's the majority of them. I feel like, um, they may feel slighted and that's not jealousy. I feel like they may feel slighted because, um, why... Didn't they have all of this stuff before? Why not? You know? That's strange to me. Why they didn't have all of this attention and stuff before? Why didn't they have all these perks and sponsorships? Why? 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 They're a basketball um, corporation, just like the NBA. And they've been having all of that type of stuff. So why not the women? You know what I mean? So, um... Queen B. Jones, 8404, says, I was typing jealousy when Mershaw said jealousy about the dog that took the six-week-old uh, baby's life. Always be vil vigilant with kids and animals. I do believe they would um, let you pass to get your organs. Uh, yeah, because you have so long after someone passes to harvest their... <gasps> What? That's why they was trying. And they looked like they was in a hurry. You know, mom was all distraught. And she just had she just had to give up, y'all. Because they were just, it was like they were in a hurry. You could feel it through the daggone phone, y'all. They were in a hurry for this young lady to pass. Like, it, that's so freaking sad. Golly. I can't stand it. Um... Keisha3468 says, that looks delicious. Thank you, sis. Um, Wanda Richardson3830 says, congrats on all your weight loss. Thank you, girl. Thank you. The Real Netizens Fire Emojis. Thank you so much. Uh, user KF6UV7YF2H says, you looking beautiful. Thank you, sis. Um... LaShawn1901 says, hey, Yummy Bites. Hey, girl. Venus's Dinners5713 says, I watch her channel, too. I found her random, and her recipes look like a hit. Ooh, who, um, who? I must have shouted somebody out. Uh, Lily Portis7100 says, your hair look a fire, and I know the food tasting amazing, girl, was. Um, and you looking beautiful as always. Thank you, sis. Uh, Lily Porter 7100 says, I'm ready for this mother flipping mukbang. Let's get it. See, that's the kind of energy I like, girl. Yes. Uh, Lily also says, good afternoon, yummy. Hey, girl. G have a happy, uh, blessed Sunday. Thank you. Um, Tunja Brown 9938, uh, says what is all of that girl you better what is that beautiful blessings continue to trust god's timing and process um 
for he is one to never lie. Right. Um, Michael Stewart, 198, says, love your hair, yummy. The food looks amazing. Thank you so much. And thank y'all so much for commenting. Um, I so sure appreciate the engagement. Um, I'm going to be going live real soon. So stay tuned. Um, <clears throat> um, I wanted to say something about what somebody said in a comment. Uh, pull up, pull up. Oh, yeah. Um, girl, when Marshall had said that that dog was probably jealous, I just put put it together. Six-week-old baby, dog been there for eight years. God. Oh, like that is heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? Because you're losing... You're losing two of your kids because, pe you know, y'all, don't kill the messenger because people feel like their dogs are a part of the family and, like, their, their child, you know? I know, okay? You can feel like that about your animals. You really can. Yeah, I need more water. Your girl is thirsty. When do I ever do this? Mm, excuse me. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, anyway. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Follow me on the family blog channel. That's where all of my recipes are for anybody that is new here. Um, make sure that, um, y'all, before y'all even watch the video, hit the like button. Okay, hit the like button, share the videos, y'all, share, 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 if you care. And yeah, y'all, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, oh, wait a minute, hold up, I gotta address this. Vivica Fox, remember when I had showed y'all that she was saying that she wanted a man or whatever, and she was looking... Y'all, somebody was so rude and made a video about her on TikTok talking about um, she doesn't look the same anymore. We don't, basically, we don't want her like that anymore. Be this is this is the Vivica that we want, you know, back, like, what was it, 30 years ago when she was way younger and skinny and stuff. People act like, you know, older women can't put nobody. Like, what? Y'all think Vivica can't pull somebody just because she has a little bit of weight on her now and whatever the hell else, you know, people are saying about her. Y'all think that she can't pull? Like, come on. Who thinks that Vivica can pull somebody at this age? She, They say she's 60. Of course she can pull somebody. Just because she has a little bit of weight on her and, you know, it, she, you know she looks older because she is, you know. That don't mean nothing. There's always somebody for everybody. Okay? Did I say that right? <laughs> There's always somebody. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so don't 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 count my girl out. I've always liked Biblical Fox. You know, sometimes she got a little stank ass attitude. But who doesn't sometimes? You know, she's aggravated. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh-uh. Hey, 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 uh-uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.